Tony here. Welcome to another LEGO Hogwarts update. First of all, I would like to apologize for one month or so without really an update. I always try to give you a new video every two weeks or so, but in this particular uh, time frame, I just couldn't really sit down and think about how to work on the castle. I just really didn't have time to build even. Um, although you do see some sets that are new, perhaps in the background, like the Mario Bowser set, which actually I really like, um, might turn out to be one of my favorite uh, sets that I own. And also the Ministry of Magic over there, which uh, the reason is not on the shelves, is that actually I'm trying to uh, find the time to turn it into a rebrickable alternative build that I found. And those are the additional pieces that one would need because just this set doesn't it just doesn't look right to me. If I ever wanna do anything with it and build my own Ministry of Magic, I will take it apart, but I'm turning it into a building. Once I build it, actually I will show you what it looks like and uh, credit the creator. I think it would suit much better being on the shelves than whatever this is supposed to be. Anyway, uh, you might also notice that some of these shelves are empty. And that is uh, actually one of the reasons that I really didn't have time in the couple of weeks in the, that just passed. And my um, community that I'm part of, the Lego community I'm part of, is doing a big exhibition. And uh, I have sent some of my sets there and was also helping to uh, make it happen. So hopefully uh, I did actually go there and film all of it and whenever I have time, hopefully it will be one of the next couple of days, I will show you all the footage and uh, just for those of you that are not in the capital presently and will not have the chance to visit it, I believe the exhibition is until this week, until the 12th of March. So for those of you that are curious and don't really have the chance to go see it for yourself, I will be showing it with uh, some uh, vague, as usual, docu uh, co commentary. <laughs> anyway, so all that aside, let's talk about the castle. I have actually done quite a bit of work again, um, although it's not as much as I would want to do, but again, I'm just constrained by time mainly, not, on, not really the pieces so much, but just to sit down and build for hours and hours. It just doesn't, can't really find the time recently, which is a frustrating problem. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna turn part of the castle around and let's talk about everything that has changed since the last update. Here we go. Alrighty, so let's start by the texture of the uh, this side wall. If you remember before I have actually worked on it and replaced everything with uh, these studs but now it's even more detailed. So let's start with the additional pieces that I've added. I've ended up deciding that um, the pyramids, one by one pyramid shape is one of the pieces in tan. Then I've added quite a few of these one by one plates and also, I have added one by one plates in dark tan as well. Currently, I have splashed them just very kind of in small amounts here and there in this half. And in this half, I have left it without them because I'm still on the fence about that. Uh, when you look from afar, it kind of, I don't know if they're really noticeable, but it kind of brings a little bit of. Um, spice into the whole texture and I feel like uh, a third color although I wasn't really a fan of the third color if it's in such small quantities I feel like it's a an improvement rather than not being there so I would rather just try to have it there in just in these small cramps but I'm not really sure might end up just removing them uh, other than that, the dark tan kind of combines with these dark tan platforms, which will not be visible, not really, only 
kind of this will be visible once the windows are placed. But more or less, this is the way that the building will look and what the texture will look in most of the buildings that are to be built in the future. Now, uh, as always, I can't really say if I'm 100% happy with this, but I feel that this is overall better than keeping it the way it was with simply the nougat bricks showing and using these uh, tiles and not really using pyramids or a third color. Also, I have uh, added a plate in multiple levels, so it really stacks up as an additional texture. And what I have not changed is the size of these uh, nougat kind of uh, spots. I'm not really sure if I should decrease them. Not really, haven't touched them since the last time. Don't know, still not sure if I should keep them like this. Not really bigger than this. Uh, so maybe I should decrease these. Not really sure. But once I made up my mind, uh, I guess I will go back and fix them to whatever I feel like they should look like. Other than that, uh, this side is pretty much done. However, obviously the windows still need to be placed, waiting for the parts on that. And then I'll start with this upper side to kind of enrich it a little bit. I have improved on this tree a little bit, just uh, decided to add some additional, well, another color obviously in these leaves just to uh, kind of make it pop a little bit. I might uh, add uh, another leaf, the same shape, but maybe another color just to see. But I've decided not really to spend much on that. These trees again will not be will not be here in the end. I just feel like on this side there shouldn't be any trees so I'll probably end up hiding them. Uh, well not really hiding them but just displaying them on the back on the other side. Here we are in the back of the building and currently looks terrible because half of it is still in the old way. As same as this side here but the other half the windows have been popped out and the texture here has been uh, transformed. I have decided to uh, lift this up, obviously. I might have mentioned that last time uh, because this was too low. And obviously the level of the windows here, the start of the windows in the back, needs to correspond to the level here and the level here was changed. So obviously the level here also has to be changed. I have left the texture here really not improved. So basically the way it was before, like here. But uh, I didn't really add all this into the back. Uh, just no point really. Want to uh, finish everything here and then really add up. And as I've mentioned, maybe the colors here will not be exactly like this. So no reason to do something twice. It's enough to do it really on that side and to watch it for a little bit and make up my mind. Anyway, what I did do, and that was most of the time that I did spend, was what I was talking about last time, increasing and continuing the path that goes around the gray hole and finishing the rocks and the little pathway and putting all the trees and bushes, whatever, really continuing that same pattern as before. And uh, I ended up doing it up to here. Now, I feel like it really depends how the building here, the grand staircase, which is curves like this, what really we want to do here, like if maybe there's going to be an entrance here, maybe not. Um, this kind of doesn't really restrict me in any way. I feel like uh, this is just like a test plate Maybe I'll put a smaller uh, plate here. It will not be this 48 by 48. So this might not even exist. We'll, maybe we'll have something smaller up to here. And we'll just continue it a little bit more into maybe into the building or into the end here. So 
but by the time uh, I make up my mind, it will be up to here for now. So uh, believe it or not, I might have mentioned it previously, but this rock work, it's, I mean, I'll zoom it into a little bit so you get a grasp of what it really looks like. And uh, it just, let's say it that way, it took me about six hours to do only the rock work here. And I'm going to take it apart um, in a little bit just to show you. But for those of you that are following the channel regularly, you will know that it is the same way as it is over here. So this here from here to here is one piece of rock. It's not connected to the uh, plate here in any way. And the same idea follows here. We have uh, additional two plates from here to up to here-ish and then another one from here till the end and then the rock work that is from here all the, along this wall is also split into two massive clumps that are individual from here up to here and then from here up to the corner and that being said it's really uh, kind of it was a challenge to merge things as usual, like the rock here in the uh, ground is not attached to the one to the wall. It was really uh, difficult to combine them so it doesn't really stick out. So they merge together so it looks that these, this whole thing is one, uh, one inseparable piece when actually it isn't because they want things to be disassemblable very easily. So uh, other than that, it just uh, follows the same pattern, really. Again, some animals, some flowers, some bushes. I um, really feel like there should be maybe a, something different, like a fourth piece other than this bush. There's these leaves, these flowers, maybe something else. But first of all, there isn't really all that much space to put any more, um, any more plants and uh, it has to be something small so i really haven't really decided if uh, i should put anything else i kind of want to but maybe there isn't really uh any room for it you might notice that the leaves here are different color uh, i think i ran out of these uh, dark green ones um thinking that maybe i should actually place these all along here instead of green just because they pop a little bit there's too much same green uh, going around if you notice like there's so much green and it's the same version of the color so maybe I'll even use uh, a lighter green leaves like this color here in this element I have plenty of those so maybe I should try that um, and I'll just place these yellow ones here for the time being just to see that maybe I'll like it I mean it corresponds nice with the yellow in the flowers and uh, kind of pops up maybe not really sure and other than that uh here the wall is the very old version still waiting for the parts they are in the mail with the windows so they'll all arrive together and at that point i'll have plenty to do and the only problem again will be the time i have so uh, once they do arrive, I will probably not do the windows first. I will probably do from here up to here and update the whole framework, the outside texture. And uh, this building will work on it separately. And once I've done that, I'll do all the windows for the whole building here. And once that's done, uh, I will either do the smaller building but probably we'll do this part here till the end so this courtyard and foyer uh, section you know this is a separate module from here till the end so I'll probably update that next and then the building last but obviously this will have to be updated as well but that's a long way off one other thing that I didn't mention last time and might want to see it now because in the future it might change again you notice the hinges here are not present anymore and uh, now I can't really remember if I've 
really talked about about that before but it turns out that with this additional texture opening these doors if you remember these wings open used to open and uh, that's kind of difficult because these studs are hitting against these studs so you can't really open it 90 degrees anymore and I decided well why should they be like doors can't we just have this and remove it instead of opening it if you want to reach and see you can just take it out i mean it doesn't have to be part of the building if you can if you you must have uh you must take this out first and then this uh, thing and then you have to take this out and the rocks in order for this to open so if you have to go through all that why shouldn't all this uh be removable as well instead of being part of the building also it was a bit annoying even before this opens up to here and up to here so it kind of restricts you, you know, this goes up to here, you can't really do this, you can't really reach properly and it was kind of uncomfortable at times when you have to go with your hand uh, deep into the building, it just wasn't optimal I feel. Plus these hinges always kind of annoyed me, they're visible, um, it's not really a big deal but... So for the time being this will be removed, no hinges and from here up to the bottom this whole wing as well as the other one will be attached to the <clears throat> sorry attached to the building with um, clips one here one at the top and one in the middle so that's the idea for now might end up changing it but it's just the hinges don't like that anymore anyway as promised here it is disassembled as it should be I have uh, saved myself the trouble from disassembling these uh, two parts, you've seen it before, again up to here and up to here, just because these trees uh, need to be handled very carefully, and uh, plus you have seen it before, but this is what it looks like, uh, these things can be picked up individually, and it really makes it convenient to do whatever and move this and I like things being tidy and constructed in separate kind of modules. Uh, behind is a real mess and uh, as you might imagine I've always always tried to uh, conserve pieces where I can and where the situation kind of allows for it and obviously wherever the texture won't be visible I have saved myself the trouble actually updating it so it will be flat and smooth as it was before but yeah it uh, I really like these kind of rock patterns it feels uh, good and here the smooth part is where it overlaps with the uh, ones that are attached to this uh, faceplate with the pathway other than that, I feel like this is all that I have to show you, believe it or not. Again, it took quite a long time to uh, do these rocks. i just uh, really pretty tired of doing rocks recently. I feel like it's all, all I've been doing mainly. But really tried this time to really do them properly. I have very few problems with the details. Uh, for example, over here, this bulk, this 2 by whatever it is, I really hate that. And it's always so tempting to place them, but it just rocks like this don't really exist. So other than this little clump, I need to replace. Uh, over here, I really tried not to do that. And uh, it's a lot better, I feel. So basically, I've really tried to do my best when it comes to these rocks, I think it's the third time that I'm doing these covers and I really would hate to go back and uh, do them another time. So if I have to improve on them, it will be some just real, really sm small touches here and there. So with that being said, let's uh, just put it back together and uh, have a few more words before closing it out. And with all that being said, I think it kind of concludes pretty much uh, all the new things that have happened since the last time. I did uh, think about adding some more minifigs around the path now that it is pretty much completed. But I haven't really 
thought out what exactly to place there. I don't really want to put random minifigures uh, really anywhere. I want them to have a purpose and for the their positioning to have some kind of a storytelling effect. And uh, unless I have something particular that I want to kind of say, I try not really to place minifigs just for the uh, sake of having minifigs. So if any of you have any interesting ideas of situations or interactions that could be happening all along these uh, uh, stony pathways here around the Great Hall, uh, you can always share it with me in the comments. As uh, usual, it's very appreciated for all of you that uh, give me your opinion, that follow me. So if you would like to give me a thumbs up, a like, share a comment, uh, follow me here on YouTube or on Instagram, where I uh, sometimes I am more active than other times. Uh, when I remember to post up there, sometimes I don't post for a couple of weeks. It just it's so many platforms I can't really uh, juggle everything getting too old for this kind of things but anyway uh, once again thank you for watching thank you for uh, all the uh, feedback that you keep giving me for this project and I will see you very soon hopefully within the next two weeks as it should be uh, stay healthy and uh, see you very soon bye for now <laughs>